Hi everyone, welcome to Kalach History. So today I'm going to do a small video on pen pressure. So how to use the pen pressure and what are the features of it and how to set it up. So let's get started. If you're using an iPad or a pen tablet for your drawings, most of the good brands have pressure sensitivity. And I'm using a VX A30 pen tablet. Let me show you what the pressure sensitivity does. So let me open up Krita and explain it to you. So if you draw with a very light hand, you can see that you can get very thin lines. But if you apply a very high pressure to the tablet like this, you can get very thick lines. Here I have set it up the pressure sensitivity to be changed with the size of the brush. But you can change it with the opacity as well like this. When you draw it in a light hand again, you can see with very less opacity. If you press it harder on the tablet like this, you can get lower opacity. So there is a drive software to be installed into your computer when you are first using a pen tablet. So here I'm using the VX A30 pen tablet and I have already installed the drive software to my computer. This is the driver software window. So as you can see, there's the pen pressure graph here. Different tablets will have different driver softwares, but all of those will definitely have a pressure sensitivity graph like this. So as you can see, the X axis represents the input levels and the Y axis represents the output levels. So this output value could be how big is the brush stroke is or how opaque is the brush stroke and it depends on the settings as I explained you before. So in this graph the line could be changed to convex or concave positions. So what does this do? I will explain it with the Krita. So I will draw the print pressure graph here. So this is the y-axis and the x-axis when you apply this amount of pressure to the pen tablet you will get this amount of output from here so let's look at the other two graphs when you apply a amount of pressure in the low pressure area you get this amount of output but if you apply the same amount of pressure in the high pressure zone like this you get An increased amount of deviation so this type of graph is better for people who have a hard hand because you get high deviation when you apply your pressure in the high pressure zone so let's move to the next graph when you apply same amount of pressure you get this amount of deviation and also if you apply the same amount of pressure at the high pressure zone you get this type of deviation so as you can see when you put a lot of pressure at the lower zone you get a very big deviation so this type of graph will be well suited for people with light hand because when you apply pressure at the lower sensitive area you get a very big deviation as the output so how much you need to change is entirely depending on the individual so first of all you have to identify if you have a light hand or a hard hand so depending on that you can draw your lightest touch and the hardest touch and you have to make sure that your lightest to hardest is cover up this entire bar in other words 
if your lightest touch and the hardest touch only covers a part of this bar you need to change the graph and do it again so this is the end of the video and i hope this video helped you a lot and if you have any other questions let me know and see you with another video